This is ground control. Ghost Leader, report in. Ghost Leader standing by. Ghost Leader, good to have you on board. Welcome to this training session. Okay, let's start with the basics of your YV-21 fighter. This visual indicator shows you your next target. It activates when you're getting too far away and may lose visual contact. It disappears at close range. We will use it throughout this exercise to show you the next training area. Okay, Ghost Leader. We know that you've obtained clearance on the F-6E fighter at the Academy. Now let's see what you can do with the YV-21 fighter. To demonstrate your piloting skills, fly through the circles. Follow the objective indicator to the next area. Good. Your piloting skills are not over-evaluated. But this is only the beginning. You are currently flying at normal speed. Your fighter has three additional speeds. The acceleration buttons allow you to accelerate. Hold down the medium throttle button to fly at high speed. Hold down the full throttle button to fly at top speed. The brake button allows you to slow down. Hold down the brake button to fly at low speed. Now that you know how to fly at high speed, let's try another course, but this time with a time limit. Very good. Now let's move on to target practice. Ground targets are usually indicated by this visual mark. Your head-up display keeps track of the number of ground targets destroyed during your mission. Now use your gun to destroy all these targets. Press the fire button to fire with your gun. You can also use missiles to destroy these targets. Wait until the target is locked, then fire a missile by pressing the missile button. Make note that no more than eight missiles can be fired simultaneously. Your head-up display always indicates the number of remaining missiles and shells. If you're out of ammunition, you cannot fire with this weapon until you have reloaded. You can press the Reload button at any time to reload both your gun and your missiles. Use the Reload button wisely to avoid running out of ammunition when you're in a good position to take an enemy out. Okay, now you know how to use your basic weapons to destroy ground targets. Now let's start the real deal. Most of the time you'll be sent out on a mission with a whole squadron. Always keep an eye on your wingmen. Their status is displayed on your head-up display. If you lose all your wingmen, the mission is failed. These blue marks indicate your wingmen. Enemy fighters are indicated by this mark. Now, use your weapons to shoot down this enemy. Nice shot, Ghost Leader. Your head-up display keeps track of the number of air targets destroyed during the mission. As you notice, each time you shoot down an enemy aircraft, you get an extra amount of shield energy. Well, most enemy fighters aren't just gonna retreat. They're gonna try to shoot you down. When your aircraft is locked by an enemy missile, you cannot avoid it by accelerating or with evasive maneuvers. The only way to get rid of an enemy missile on your tail is to accomplish a quick barrel by pressing the dodge button. Be careful, you have to wait until the very last moment and only press the dodge button when the missile accelerates towards you. You will see the missile's flame change when this happens. 
Now, engage these two enemy aircraft and pay attention to their missiles. Let's try again. Remember, press the dodge button only when the missile is accelerating. shoot them down without taking too much damage. Now hunt down this enemy aircraft in this canyon and take him out as quickly as possible. This is almost the end of your training session. You seem to be ready for combat and eager to start your first mission. Remember all you've learned during this training session. Now let's try and shoot down as many enemy aircraft as possible in real combat conditions. capability of your aircraft, which we haven't shown you yet. You can switch to the advanced weapon system by pressing the special weapon button. The advanced weapon system uses a specific energy gauge which can only be refilled by shooting down enemy targets. There is no reloading. When an enemy aircraft is locked by the advanced weapon system, hold down the fire button to prepare for fire. This may take a few seconds. The enemy aircraft must remain locked during the whole process. The lock changes when the weapon is ready for fire. Release the fire button to launch six high-speed missiles at your enemy. This advanced weapon system is very powerful. But remember, you've only got limited ammo. Training mission complete, Ghost Leader. Return to base immediately. You're ready for your first assignment. 